Well, Mo Farms Nursery is a third generation Christmas tree nursery. Uh, we've been in business since about 1950. Uh, my brother Ken and I took over the business back in 1996 and we still have a lot of family involved, a brother and sister along with Ken and me. Uh, lots of family, that's uh, lots of other employees have been working with us for years. Uh, we do Christmas trees, we do landscape trees, we do uh, seedlings of nursery stock. We also have a grower supply business, we sell that sort of thing. Um, we also manufacture a Christmas tree stand. Uh, we probably have 30 year-round employees, uh, most of the year anyway, and then up to 75 or more during the busy seasons. MDARD uh, helps us, enables us to ship our trees, uh, both Christmas trees, landscape trees, and seedlings by inspecting them for shipping through the quarantined areas. Uh, we have to, be, have to be inspected for gypsy moth and pine shoot beetle to make sure we're not shipping any pests along. All right, when conducting a general nursery inspection, uh, we're specifically looking at the plant for evidence of any kind of plant diseases, viruses, and you look for those on the trunks of the tree, on the leaves, those types of things, or we're looking for insect pests as well and damage that they might cause. And we're trying to uh, rule out that any of those things are present uh, on the plant material so we can certify it for shipment to other states or even other countries. Uh, part of the function of our nursery inspections is to ensure and protect uh, Michigan's agricultural and horticultural industries uh, from plant pests and plant diseases that may affect their crops and also to ensure that the end consumer uh, is receiving uh, plant material that is free of these pests as well. Last year in Michigan, over 1,300 grower licenses were issued and over 7,500 acres of nursery stock were inspected. All right, we do both uh, import and export inspections and the purpose of an import inspection is to make sure that stock coming into Michigan from either other states or other countries is free of insect pests and diseases in general, but specifically exotic pests that we don't want to introduce into our state. In the case of exports, we are certifying uh, that the stock that we are shipping out of our state, out of Michigan, uh, meet the certification requirements in those other states or countries where we're shipping this stock. And this is critical uh, specifically because we currently uh, export some of our nursery stock to 25 other countries right now and all the other states uh, in, the, in the country. The reason we do a Christmas tree inspection is for certification, specifically for the federal quarantines of gypsy moth and pine shoot beetle. And the way we would do one for uh, spruce and fir is you would first go around the perimeter and if there's any hardwoods uh, within 100 feet of the perimeter, you're looking in those trees for evidence of gypsy moth. And then additionally, you're doing a, the perimeter check of the block of spruce or fir looking for gypsy moth. In the case of pines, you'd be looking for a pine shoot beetle as well. And then with spruce and fir, you also then make an X through the block, again looking for uh, gypsy moth. Well, for a general nursery inspection, uh, if we we're looking at pine trees in particular here, uh, again, we're going to walk around the tree and uh, get in between the branches and look at the base uh, or the stem of the, the trunk of the tree and also at the branches. And we're looking on the needles for evidence of needle cast, for example, which is a disease uh, that can get into any of the conifers. Uh, we're looking for insect pests, uh, looking for different uh, scale, a pine needle scale, or pine bark adelgia that might be on the, on the trunk of the tree. So we're looking for those types of pests, again, uh, in an effort to certify the nursery stock to be able to meet the requirements to ship it to other states or other countries. When doing a, a Christmas tree inspection on a, any kind of conifer, uh, you're trying to get spread the branches apart so you can get a good look at the trunk of the tree and also the underside of some of the larger branches. Uh, those are the two locations where you typically will find a gypsy moth egg mass if it is present. Uh, 
Uh, one of the very important uh, aspects of our nursery inspection work is the partnerships that we're able to develop with the firms and facilities that we work with. And uh, one of the reasons that's so important is they are uh, looking at their nursery stock year-round, where we are taking a snapshot in time, just doing a single inspection a year typically. And so they're able to tell us if they see things in our nursery stock that are unusual or different that we can then follow up on. And we're able then to uh, do a, a thorough inspection uh, to provide them with the certification they need to ship their stock.